in this video, I'm going to be asking Samir to share with all of us that are watching. Uh, number one, definitely how many types of, of dates are there? Number two, uh, which one is le least sweet and which one is the sweetest? And number three, I'm also going to ask him, how long can we actually keep dates and how do we keep it? Okay, hello. Hello, sir. I'm Mark from Singapore, and you are? Welcome, sir. Samir. Samir. All right. So today we have Samir from Liwa Dates. I am filming this all the way live in Dubai, and uh, this is something that for 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 me it's really really interesting. I'm sure for all of you that are living in Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia, as far as far as Asia is concerned, um, dates is something that in the Muslim community of Muslim friends uh, something that you consume most of the time when it comes to puasa right because it gives you that energy yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. during the fasting is this something uh, same practice as well here in in, in, in Dubai where yeah. Yeah? yeah okay so for Chinese it, the Indians and other any groups you know um, dates is something that is not so common but for me I use a lot of dates uh, when I'm doing my my nut milk uh, I'm using it as a natural form of sweetener and also thirdly I use it you know when I need energy yeah, sure. because it's it's natural right for energy yeah for sure, right it's natural, so. natural so uh, and in fact I if for those of you that if you're exercising you're doing marathons and etc dates in fact is better than your power gel I high, highly recommend you use this because this is all natural and no chemicals inside so um, all right so Samir uh, if I look at here you you guys have Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Twelve different types of dates. Yeah. Wow. Check this out, guys. Twelve different types. And now, with these twelve different types of dates, are these the maximum types that we can get, or there are more than twelve? So actually, sir, not all the pieces. It's too much different. Maybe some pieces. It's same pieces. Okay. okay? We have all this product from Jordan, from UA, and from KSA, the best taste. So they are mainly the from four different places? Yeah, for at least for other companies, okay? Us okay, company. see, so if, if everyone that is viewing this video right now, and assuming that they want to enjoy the 12 different type of dates here with the one that has the least sugar, yeah. the one that is not very sweet, then uh, Samir here is recommending to Ajwa go for number one. Achua, number one. one yes. All right, sure. okay. And the best one from sugar, okay. it's khalas. The best one for sugar, highest sugar, so for sugar lovers, you want to go for khalas. khalas. Khalas, actually two pieces, khalas from KSA and khalas from UA. Okay. If khalas from UA, it's the best because more so than this one and more sugar. Right, can I, can I try the one from KSA? Yes, yeah, sure. Okay, I'm going to try the KSA first. So the smell is like our gula melaka smell. Very nice. Hmm, slight difference in smell. Mm-hmm. You can see, oh. It's nice, hmm? Yeah. Okay. So I just tried the one from KSA. Now I'm going to try the Kalas from UAE. Mm. Although this is sweeter, yeah. but it is softer. More soft than this. Yes, more softer than, yeah, than this. Wow, this, yeah. is, this is really amazing. Really, really amazing. I'm ready to go for the Matt Joe Jordan, Jordan. And also the Matt Joe UAE. This and two Jordan. Thank you. Sweet and soft and the big size. Can I see the Matt Joe UAE as well? On my right, it's from UAE, yeah. and on my left, this is from Jordan. Okay, so I can see that the, the Jordan one has a slightly bigger size, okay? In terms of fragrance, not much of a smell difference. So, which difference one? Difference in this. Okay. Majdu UAE, more sweet. Majdu UAE is more sweet, okay. Okay. Yep. Majdul Jordan, more soft. More soft, okay. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try the UAE first. Yeah. Hmm. 
very different than Kala, uh, from from Kalas, if you ask me. Yeah, sure. Um, I think it's if you ask me which one I like, I I, I personally like Kalas more. Yeah. I think it's but it comes down to very individual. Probably you guys have to try yourself to know. Okay, now I'm gonna try the Jordan one. Hmm, it's softer. Yeah. It's not so sticky. This one, the texture is slightly more sticky. It's tighter. Exactly. Uh, this one is clean. You know, it doesn't stick in your mouth. It's it's just really clean, huh? Very clean. Exactly. I don't find that. The one from Jordan is as sweet compared to the UAE, surprisingly. Mm. Now, how long can a typical box of dates be kept? So if I buy one, how long can I keep it? One year? One year for sure. One year. Okay, so it's, it's one year. In a good hut in the place. Okay. Okay. Not for sure in, in the freeze. So I don't put it Not in my important. refrigerator, no? Yeah, but in the good place, hot. Not hot or hot? Medium. Medium. All right. Yeah. Room temperature. But for sure, one year. Okay, one year. Huh? Okay, good. Last question. Do I need to wash with water before I eat or it's okay to just eat like this? If you take it, the, the dates inside the box, yes. okay, and then that's something for gifted, yes. you don't need. But some company, if maybe if you don't see it's clean place, you can wash. I see. But all the company, I think it's ready for use for the customer. Okay. Yeah. That is amazing. Thank you so much. This Welcome, has been sir. great learning for me. Guys, strongly encourage you to check out Liva Dates if you happen to be in Dubai and also in Abu Dhabi. Yeah. Right? They have uh, some outlets there and uh, this is not promotional for them. This is just randomly. I'm picking up this shop here, walking in um, because I just want to learn about this and I'm going to buy some dates back into Singapore. I'll be sharing it with you guys. And I hope you have enjoyed this new learning about dates. Uh, this is Mark Leong here once again, your Asia Juice Guru. And I'll see you guys soon and boom.